Hello, Uncle Cal. I'm going to help you on this part. Um, how to rack back a gun. Alright. Um, seems like he was having a little trouble there, dude. And I understand. A lot of people don't understand that sometimes uh, sometimes people who have a little bit of handicap problems sometimes simplest things are hard okay but you're still accomplished martial artist and everything like that now I'm gonna show you how to rack back a gun okay now putting in the car cartridge very simple take it in out you got a little button right here and that's your release lever see how that works all right never put it in this way put it in this way the little tongue right here always goes towards this way so that will help you out all right the next thing is racking back right now i've got my safety on all right there we go took off my safety see i've got a little safety kit um lever right here when it points down points down it's locked and you point it up on mine you can pull the trigger all right to rack it it's very simple some people have trouble racking it this way all right some people have problems racking it this way you might have problems racking it this way take your hand Okay, what you do, you take your hand, put it over this part, rack it like this. Alright, that's how you rack it. Simple. You always have to rack it. I show you again step by step some people can rack it this way but it's a lot easier if you rack it that way yours might be more expensive type and the spring might be much heavier but other than that That's how you do it. Take out the magazine. You'll get the hang of it, Uncle Cal. You know, I've been around real guns practically all my life. And I've seen guns a lot in my life and how how hard some guns are hard to cock and some guns are not harder to cock but airsoft is the closest thing to the real thing you can get without getting in legal trouble you have to be at least 18 to own these things even it says on the package it's not a toy injuries could barely happen you can get hit in the eye um, even the BBs, the BBs do hurt in close range. Far distance, it might not as hurt as bad, but 
just remember, if you're training, you train with one of these. These are the safest things you can train with. Either that or the, or the blue gun, which is a rubber gun, which that don't shoot anything. That just for gripping and uh, your aiming. Okay, um, I will have another video on this one day and show you.